Okay, last week we started talking about warm and cool colors, which are opposite from each other on the color wheel. So we are making a sun and a moon, which are opposites. We're gonna have day and we're gonna have night. We're gonna have warm, we're gonna have cool. So today, we're going to be filling in with our cool colors. Remember, your cool colors are purple, green, blue, and we can mix in a little white just so we can get some more interesting colors. Okay, so if we didn't finish doing our warm side last week, we're gonna wanna finish that first, but afterwards we can pull the cool colors out and we can work on the cool side. Remember, these are not watercolors. We do not get them wet first. We dip with a dry, brush and the same as last week we are going to make sure that we are taking our time making sure that we don't have any big globs of paint making sure it's all nice and spread out making sure that we fill up the entire section that we're painting same as when we color we don't want any scribble ghosts left behind so have I finished that section oh now I need to go back and keep doing it Please remember that if you want to mix your colors, you can. You just have to wash your brush in between getting colors, because whatever color's over here, well, that's the color it should stay. But when I want to change colors, please remember you're going to tap, 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 tap on the bottom to get all the color off. All right, am I ready to stick it back in the paint yet? <gasps> no. I need to dry my paintbrush off, okay? So that's nice and dry, so I can come and get some more color. So if I want to do two colors together, I can. I just have to put them both on the paper. I cannot mix them in my tray. So my purple should stay purple, my green should stay green, my blue should stay blue. So I wanna make this blue a little bit lighter, so I'll mix it right here on the page and then I'll go ahead and spread it out. 